and then debunk the myths around this event as well as make a prediction what to expect for Bitcoin. The price of the attack on the Bitcoin Cash Network is $8,000 and for Bitcoin SV it's only $3,000. My first prediction is that on the eve of the Bitcoin halving from about May the 8th to May 11th. Glad to welcome you to the coin post. What's this? A bird? A plane? It's a Bitcoin halving that's gonna send cryptocurrency to the moon. Well, or at least to about $10,000 for starters. This kind of mood is in the air in the cryptocurrency market now. And the closer this mystical halving is, the more hopes are set on it. This week we got two halving at once, on Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV. And in my humble opinion, the world wouldn't have lost anything if Roger Veer and Craig Wright hadn't issued their own cryptocurrencies. However, those are just perfect for analyzing the halving and understanding what's in store for Bitcoin early in May. I suggest that we divide this video into two parts. Firstly, we'll analyze the Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV halvings, and then debunk the myths around this event as well as make a prediction what to expect for Bitcoin. Thanks everyone for stopping by the CoinPost channel, click the subscribe button not to miss our new episodes and don't forget to turn on the notifications. Let's get started! Block number 630,000, on which the third halving should take place, was mined on the Bitcoin Cash Network on April the 8th. Let me explain that the average block production time in Bitcoin and its clones, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, is about 10 minutes. However, if there are more miners in the network, the hash rate goes up and it takes less to produce one block. Therefore, there is such a thing as the difficulty. It's recalculated automatically through the set number of blocks and makes miners produce one block again in 10 minutes. Besides, the ratio of hash rate and the difficulty works the other way too. Therefore, when miners exit the network, their remaining fellows are gonna need more than 10 minutes to mine one block and it'll continue until they reduce the difficulty of the network. When the Bitcoin Cash halving happened, the miners tried for about an hour and a half to get block number 630,001, that is, the first with a reward of only 6.25 BCH. And after that, the network was unstable for about a day and a half, experiencing the 40-minute delays between the blocks. Whereas, at the time of making the video, it's the opposite as they are catching up and give out a block every two to three minutes, although still having prolonged delays. The answer to such mysterious behavior of the Bitcoin Cash blockchain is that immediately after the halving, all the miners went to the Bitcoin network to seek a better life. Hash rate dropped 80% from 4 EH per second to 0.7 EH per second. After recalculating the difficulty, the power of the Bitcoin Cash network recovered quite well, but then went down again, and now the miners are looking for the middle ground. Whether it's 2 EH per second or it will go even lower, we're gonna find out next month. In the meantime, we can say that reducing the block reward twice actually led to a similar decrease in the hash rate. The Bitcoin SV halving took place on April the 10th, and unlike Bitcoin Cash, miners were able to get the first block with a halved award in just 29 minutes. Then they started having the same problems as their colleagues with Bitcoin Cash, as the blocks could be mined either every 3 minutes or with network downtimes of 30 to 40 minutes. The reason is very much alike. After the halving, miners left the network in large numbers, and the hash rate dropped 70%. As a result of all these adventures, both Bitcoin and clones ended up in danger of being attacked by 51%. At the moment, the price of the attack on the Bitcoin Cash Network is $8,000, and for Bitcoin SV, it's only $3,000. It is the cost of renting mining capacities for one hour. The figure for Bitcoin, in comparison, is $600,000. It's also important to mention that none of the two cryptocurrencies showed explosive growth due to the halving, but we're gonna talk more about the price in the second part of the video. And if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, as it not only motivates us to keep working, but also helps promoting the channel. Like I said at the beginning of the video, in the second part we're analyzing the myths related to halving. Let's start with the price increase before the halving, and as we can see in the example of Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, none of that is happening. Correct me if I'm wrong, that on April the 8th both heroes of the video pumped a little, but as soon as Bitcoin correction hit, 
they immediately dumped and went even lower. And all this growth before the having, to my understanding, was connected not with the having of the reward itself, but with speculation on this event. The second myth is that the price goes up after the having to make up for what miners spent. It's backed up by the fact that miners now have fewer bitcoins, and therefore they sell less and thus don't press on the market as much. Another theory about having is that if Bitcoin inflation drops twice, the asset will get scarcer and it will also stimulate growth. These arguments make sense, but will they be decisive for the market? The example with Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin as fee is not quite relevant here because it hasn't been enough time. But as soon as Bitcoin led the market down, they immediately fell, that is, they are influenced by other factors. And the same thing with the Litecoin. The halving in August 2019 didn't make the asset so strong to be independent of the Bitcoin price, that is, of external market factors. Myth number three goes that after the halving, in case of a sharp hash rate drop, the price plummets too. In this case, it wasn't confirmed at all, as there is no panic whatsoever among the Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV owners due to the 50% hash rate drop or even lower. No one rushed to sell, and it's reasonable to assume that it's not gonna happen with Bitcoin either. But what's going to happen? I'll tell you right in a minute, as I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. You will not only become part of our community, but also help to develop the channel. And we, in turn, are gonna make even more videos. My first prediction is that on the eve of the Bitcoin halving, from about May the 8th to May 11th, we'll be able to see a speculative pump by 5 to 10%. Secondly, I'm not ready to support those who are convinced that after the halving, the Bitcoin price will necessarily go up due to a shortage caused by a drop in the miners' sales. There are other much more significant factors, in my opinion, which now is global crisis, for instance. After all, we have already had one collapse along with a stock market crash, and we might easily have it all over again. At the same time, I believe that Bitcoin is gonna survive as an asset, but getting beaten up. On a positive note, the Bitcoin hash rate is very likely to slump, and we're gonna see delays in finding blocks. But after recalculating the difficulty, things are gonna get back to normal. And we're not gonna witness any panic sales in this context. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching the CoinPost channel. Subscribe and get enlightened.